Hi my beauties, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, I'm gonna be addressing a very common skin concern that is skin peeling. This is very, very common, especially in the winter season. I'm gonna be giving you three practical tips as to how you can avoid that. Very simple and very easy. Let's quickly dive right into this video. If you're new here, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel. Do also make sure you've hit the notification bell. Do also follow me on my Instagram. And now let's dive right into it. Now, peeling is nothing but the uppermost layer of your skin falling apart. Peeling is a sign that your skin is losing its structural composition due to compromised skin barrier, and hence it needs attention. Now, your skin may start feeling a little bit white before it starts peeling. That's your sign to start treating it before it gets worse. I'm gonna be giving you three most common reasons of peeling and how to protect your skin from it. Number one, your skincare routine. Now tell me if you have humectants in your skincare routine, but you do not have an occlusive to seal that hydration. This is one of the most common skincare mistakes. Now certain ingredients when mixed together can actually irritate your skin. For example, if you're using higher concentration of vitamin C, make sure to combine it with some sort of ceramides, peptides or vitamin E to make sure that your skin doesn't get dehydrated. Now certain ingredients like hyaluronic acid, if you stand alone, can dehydrate your skin. Now you will ask me why, because hyaluronic acid is popularly known to hydrate and moisturize your skin. As much as that is true, hyaluronic acid draws moisture from the air and if there is none, it's going to draw moisture from the deepest layers of your skin which can land up dehydrating your skin if you stand alone. Therefore, make sure you're pairing your humectants with some sort of emollients or occlusive to seal that hydration so that your skin doesn't start peeling or feels dehydrated. One such product that I've been loving is the Dr. Shet's Ceramide and Vitamin C Daily Brightening and Repair Cream. It has 5% vitamin C to fade discoloration, dullness and fight free radical damage for more even toned brighter skin which is combined with 1% ceramide complex to repair damaged skin barrier and maintain skin's moisture. We also have Sika Extract to soothe peeling skin which will also calm inflammation caused by dry peeling skin. We also have antioxidants like Avla Extract which is also a collagen booster and colloidal oatmeal great for dry and eczema prone skin and sodium hyaluronate which is a humectant and has great water holding capacity. Now this is exactly the formulation that I'm referring to, extremely well balanced. They've used a small amount of active and combined it with skin identical hydrating ingredients, some great emollients and humectants here. This is a very, very lightweight cream. It just blends seamlessly into the skin, moisturizes your skin from deep within. And if skin peeling is your concern, try this one out. The second and the most popular reason for peeling is sunburn. And this is usually caused by insufficient sunscreen or incorrect usage of sunscreen. The best is to follow the two finger rule. So you apply sunscreen on your two fingers and then dot it all over your face and massage it nicely on your face and also on your neck. A lot of people ask me whether it's important to use a sunscreen indoors. Absolutely yes, because UV rays penetrate glass as well. I've mentioned this many times in my videos. So use an SPF 30 if you're indoors and if you're stepping out, use an SPF 50. Make sure your sunscreens have broad spectrum and a good PA rating. Let me give you a few recommendations of my current favorite sunscreens that I reach out for the most. The Dr. Shed Ceramide and Vitamin C sunscreen without a doubt is one of the best sunscreens out there because of its lightweight formula, does not leave a white cast, suitable for all skin types, has an SPF of 50. You get broad spectrum with mineral and organic filters. For anyone who has oily acne prone skin, you will love the Pilgrim Ultra Matte Sunscreen Squalene Ultra Matte Sunscreen. Comes with an SPF of 50, you get broad spectrum in this one as well. Uh, this has omega ceramides in it as well. Then um, for anyone who is again oily acne prone skin, I'm totally in love with the Wishcare Invisible Gel Sunscreen because it blends seamlessly into the skin, leaves no white cast and feels uh, super, super hydrating. And it doesn't feel heavy or oily on the skin. It actually, after a couple of seconds, settles quite matte. Very good sunscreen in my opinion. And then I have the SPF 30 for you, which is from Fix Derma, the Shadow SPF 30 and 50. Both are great. But if you're indoors, you can try the SPF 30. So you can take your pick out of any of these. The third and the most common reason for skin peeling is over exfoliation. Well, we all have secretly over exfoliated our skin because we thought it's going to treat acne 
and give us a more brighter glowing skin. While all of that is true about exfoliation, over exfoliation helped no one. Specifically talking about chemical exfoliation, you have to set the right frequency and the right concentration of exfoliating your skin because otherwise it is going to invite a lot of skin problems starting from skin peeling. Why does your skin peel after over exfoliation is because your skin is now at a stage where it has compromised skin barrier. So how to correctly do it? I have a full video on chemical exfoliation. I'm going to link it here for you. But let's quickly tell you how to correctly exfoliate your skin. If you're a beginner, start with a BHA, a beta hydroxy acid, 2% salicylic acid is the most popular form of it. And this one from Minimalist is amazing. You can use any of your choice, but I would highly recommend if you're a beginner, start with a BHA. Now, if you are someone who's experienced with um, chemical exfoliation, go ahead and use a good glycolic acid, but if you're using a BHA, not more than two to four times a week, if you're a beginner, only two times a week, if you are experienced with BHA, like you've used it for a good two months, go ahead and use it three to four times a week, depending on how your skin reacts to it. Then if you want to use an AHA, an alpha hydroxy acid, glycolic acid is extremely popular and very, very effective. You can get glowing skin with glycolic acid. I have very great experience with the Pixie Glow Tonic. This has 5% glycolic acid, a very potent formula so do not use it more than one to two times a week. Then if you're someone who likes to use a good strong exfoliating peel, I highly recommend the Pilgrim Peeling Solution. This is a great formula, even though this has 25% AHA, 2% BHA and 5% BHA, it still does not feel that strong or that heavily exfoliating on the skin. However, I would still say if you're using this, I would highly recommend to use this once a fortnight or once in 10 days. So guys, with that, it's a wrap. I really hope I was able to encapsulate a well-informed guide for all of you out there who are facing skin peeling and how you can protect your skin. If you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and also make sure you've hit the notification bell. Until I see you next, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Love you all. Bye-bye.